Hey guys, Marty Limo Guy here. So let's talk today quickly about tips and extra tips and included gratuities. So you may be working for a company uh, that has um, included gratuity on the rate um, to where they've told the customer the gratuity is already included in the rate that you're paying. Um, you may also work for a limo company that charges a hourly plus a 20% gratuity and possibly like, you know, uh, extra for fuel or something like that. There are still companies that do that. A lot of companies just do the flat rate. Oh, it's already included. Gratuity's already included. You're all good to go. Um, let's talk real quick about those that have the gratuity included already. If you're driving for a company and you've been driving for this company for a while, you know how they do their rates. And you, let's say it's an airport pickup, airport pickup, airport drop off, whatever. Client goes to get out of the car and says, is your tip included? You already know that the client already knows the office told them that the tip is included. And if you say, no, I don't, I don't have a tip, the tip's not included. Or if they ask, I know the gratuity is included, but do you see that whole gratuity? And you say, no, that's called double dipping. Double dipping is bad. Um, you can get fired from double dipping. Um, the client can come after the company for you saying that the gratuity isn't included when the gratuity actually is included. So there's a whole bunch of things that you can get in trouble for for lying and, and double dipping, saying that you don't get the gratuity when you know damn well you do. So that's something you don't want to do. Not every client is going to tip. A lot of them will say, oh, well, you know, I'm paying for it. The tip's already included. He's good to go. No problem. I've had it to where I've had customers that make <laughs> millions take a limo out or take uh, an airport run, pick up drop off, won't give anything. That's fine. I have customers that live paycheck to paycheck and have collected so much over the couple of months, said, oh, it's my birthday, let's get a limo, let's go out and party in, or grab a, co a couple of their friends together and go all in on a limo. Those are the ones that will give you a $250 tip at the end of the night, knowing that you're already getting the gratuity. So don't double dip. It makes a bad name for all the other chauffeurs out there that don't double dip that love their job, that wants to keep their job, that do everything above and beyond for their job, don't double dip. Don't hound the client for a gratuity. If they don't give you one, oh well, you got another one coming up right after that. Limo, same thing, you got another one coming up right after that. Don't worry about it. It's a job, you're still getting your hourly. What's $5, what's $10? Yeah, it's money. But in the long run, what's not having a job and getting fired, and then the other limo company that you go to to try to go and work at finds out that you double dipped on a run, you're not going to get hired by that one either. So do us all a favor. Don't double dip. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.